So I had COVID last year, just before Thanksgiving, and um, I took every precaution that I could. I worked in the food and beverage industry at that point. I had COVID, I had to quit working for two weeks. I couldn't work, I couldn't make money. I got a little COVID hazard pay, but I fell behind on things. I felt horrible, I was sick. I got really lucky, I didn't have any serious long-term effects. I didn't end up in the hospital, but I couldn't see my family for Thanksgiving. I was isolated for two weeks. <laughs> it was awful. It's my job also in December because the restaurant I worked for closed because of COVID. So for me, getting the vaccine was like the chance to avoid all of those impacts, uh, health-wise, econ economic impact. Um, and seeing the people around me get sick uh, was scary. And like, my mother is 71. I'm not going to risk bringing that home to her because I work in food and bev or ag industries. Actually, what volunteered with the, when they did the big drive. Um, and so I was able to, you know, lucky to be able to get it uh, fairly early on. I got it because I really feel that it's kind of just a service to the community and not even a service, but a duty to your community members and um, the county in general. Um, I think it helps uh, small businesses. It helps it, not only our business, but every other business around town to try to get back to normal. This is a, you know, if someone brings COVID out here and gives it to people and we have to shut down, there's 700 head of bison that are gonna suffer. It's not worth it. I think it's important for your livelihood to do it. Um, just think if you're a rancher and you got, like we're doing right now, haying or moving animals or slaughter or anything like that, and you're out for two weeks, that can be the big time difference in a paycheck for you. Taking care of animals and ranch life, uh, if I were to be sick for, you know, uh, period of time, a week or so, that uh, might mean that somebody doesn't get fed. And I really didn't want to take the risk of that. I had less of a reaction in my arm from uh, that than I did a tetanus shot that I got a few weeks later. So uh, really minimal problems there. Uh, you know, it's far, 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 far outweighed by the benefits, you know, of feeling safe in public and feeling like you're not going to endanger your family, your grandparents, your kids, whatever it is. So I would say the risk outweighs the benefits and it didn't, it's, it's harmless. You know, I felt like I had the flu for one day and now I feel more secure than I would, would have, you know, months and months before, so. I'd probably just say, think of, your, think of the folks in your community and think what's best for them and not only about yourself, but, and about your own, your own um, age group or your own peer group, but think about like elderly folks and people with pre-existing pre conditions and your choice to get vaccinated can have a detrimental effect or a positive effect on somebody else's life. Rural areas or in, in places like this, there may be a stigma around getting the vaccine because of certain news or beliefs or stuff that's being passed around. Just make your own decision. Don't let anybody tell you what you need to do. If it feels like you want to feel more secure, go get the vaccine. You know, who cares what people think? Protect yourself. This is the vaccine on a whole, I think we all just have to do our part. Uh, and if we all get, you know, if we all do our part, we're gonna beat this thing.